Well, we have an organic, certified organic, you pick blueberry farm here. My husband Spencer and I, this is the farm that he grew up on. The blueberries really were his idea long before he met me and I went along with it. <laughs> he wanted to grow a perennial crop or two. Okay. So with the blueberries and the hazelnuts, both of us growing up on a farm, mm -hmm. we were used to growing corn and grass and yep. those are gone That's right. and then okay. you plant them again and yep. you know we bought this property from his mother and he was interested in we still grow grass for hay mm -hmm. but to uh, grow something that has a little more I guess long-term perennial yep. thing about it and I like them both he mainly just liked those two things we planted the blueberries in 2008 we had to order them well ahead of time, a couple of years, and had our first harvest in 2011. So then we decided to do sort of a fresh market arrangement. So we have the option for people to come and pick their own berries, or we have teenagers that work on a crew for us and pick for us so that those that don't want to pick can mm -hmm. just buy them out of the cooler. Three varieties, they look different, they have a different texture, they have a different flavor profile, Rika Sweet Tart, Draper All Sweet, Liberty Sweet and Spicy. Spicy. The first Rika variety has got a little peach fuzz on the stem, and, and the leaves go up on the Rika, but the Draper has a very bending down leaf. Okay. Very distinct. And then the Liberty looks like the Rika, but it has a smooth stem, no, no fuzz, and its leaves go up like the Liberty. So when we first got the berries, I said we planted them in 2008, and then we harvested them in 2011. Um, to get good root establishment, they recommended taking the blooms off for two years. Oh, okay. Because it takes a lot of energy to make a berry for that plant. So they wanted, you know, we wanted them to establish their roots. So we waited a couple of years. It's weird, taking all the blooms off, trying best you can. I did not know that. That has good information yes. there. Hmm. I would recommend that for home growers. Okay. I don't think they tell you that in just whatever stores. I did not know that. I'm learning so much right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Usually when people come, they love to go and pick blueberries and they like taking those home, but often people say, what else do you have here? Take and bake pies that are made for us on Whidbey Island from Wild Crow. Scones that are made in Arlington at Hammond Bakery. Ice cream made by Lopez Island Creamery. Fresh blueberry salsa from Red Bowl Salsa. Yum. I think that's one of my favorite things about the farm is finding local businesses that will work with us. So I think I enjoy that a lot. Of course, I like to make people happy with blueberries and know that they're eating healthy, certified organic blueberries. But that's fun to collaborate with people, make some neat things. Absolutely. I'm always looking for fun ways to get people here, like my free cooking demos. Those are on the second Tuesday of each month. I had one right out here yesterday in the picnic area. We made blueberry cheesecake cups. Yum. And we also sell Bristol Bay wild caught sockeye here because my husband is a fisherman. So I do recipes for salmon, hazelnuts, blueberries, and sometimes all of the above. People bring me recipes. One of the best ones was brought by a customer. It was called Blueberry Jamboree. I try them all out, so you gotta my test family yes. is, they're like, oh, you're gonna make that one more time. Um, we, we try out a lot of different things. And some you look at, like that Jamboree, I knew right away it was going to be delicious and it was perfect. We're glad, we're thankful to be here and we're thankful that people drive clear out here to our place.